Hello, and welcome to patch 11, I believe, um, the most recent February patch for uh, Star Citizen. Um, I'm going to try to get through this. The This patch has been causing quite a few problems w with lag, as you can see. Um, I'll, there have been some updates, so I'll try to walk you through them, but um, it seems like um, performance has definitely taken a hit. Um, I've had to lower my uh, textures, I believe my, my quality, my uh, video quality to medium or maybe low. Um, I was running on high no problem previously and I was running at uh, 1080p with very little stuttering on high. Uh, now I have to run at uh, windowed mode, 720p I guess. Um, and I have to run at uh, medium or low to be able to actually even move. At my previous settings I couldn't get, I was getting less than a frame per second and I, I couldn't even exit the game. It was so, it was so unresponsive. But uh, this is the newest patch. Um, as you can see they've gotten rid of the Christmas holiday wreaths. Um, they're all gone. Um, the biggest update in this patch is actually the Cutlass, and uh, I picked up a Cutlass. I was meaning to p pick up a Cutlass anyhow, but uh, I ended up picking up a Cutlass because of this patch um, sooner than I... And you can see, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's some weird texture pops in the distance. Um, but yeah, so they, they've updated the Cutlass interior and uh, added a bunch of new cool uh, interactive features and such. I know one of the problems people have been having with the Cutlass is that they're, um, they've are they moved a lot of the entry points. So you can no longer just activate the entry to the Cutlass uh, from the door as you did in the past. Uh, what they've done is that they've added small switches and you can see these blue switches that you can activate uh, in order to um, gain an entry to the to the ship. So this lowers the ladder and pops open the door up there in the cockpit and in the back it's actually on the strut here. There's a button and you have to get up close to it and push it Whoop. and freeze. So in the interior here, they've done a few things. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what some of them are. Uh, for example, uh, up here somewhere, this one I haven't been able to figure out. If you hit one of these buttons, I'm not sure which one. Let's see, this one brings up the ramp, so that's fine. And I guess this one brings down the ramp again. But this bottom one lowers some kind of thing that uh, I don't know what this is. I've heard it might be a tractor beam. I'm not really sure. And I also don't know how to retract it back in because the bottom one now brings up the ramp and it just clips through. So I'm not really sure what this is. I There probably should be a retraction button but it's not any of these two. No matter which ones you you hit it just deploys and retracts the ramp. <laughs> Um, they've added a sitting animation for sitting on the toilet. Very important. Um, funny enough, this toilet is one of the stranger designs. It looks like a very, very small toilet. And it looks like, uh, looks like somebody might have gotten a little messy on the side here with, <laughs> with the toilet. I wonder if this is not just go sit back on it. Um, they've added some neat things though. Um, I'm not sure if you could get into the beds before, but now you can get into each of the beds. Uh, there's not much to it, just the animation for sitting down. You don't get any fancy screens or anything in the beds on the ship, so far anyway. Um, like you do on the Constellation and the some of the other ships. I think the Freelancer, even though you can't get on the beds, there's some screens inside. Um, what else have they added? They've added these jump seats. You can have a have a seat in the jump seat. Look around. I guess sit back here if you're going on a journey. Hop in the bed, sit in the jump seat. 
what have you. Um, this is a little interesting. Uh, I think this is the one. This actually opens this, and I wonder if this will be a... Because uh, there isn't a second turret. There's there's a turret up here. Uh, so this will be a, a loading or unloading, or maybe even... See, I think these are... I'm not sure if this is an airlock. I, I don't really know what this is. Um, but there's an opening at the bottom of the ship. It doesn't make sense that this would be to load cargo, because you do have a cargo ramp. So I'm not sure what that's, what the purpose of that is. But just be careful not to fall through it, I guess. Oh. You have to be very careful with these new buttons. Um, you have to get right up to them and in order to push them, even if you, even if the um, prompt comes up, it doesn't always register unless you're right up next to it. Um, here there's two buttons. Uh, one of them is for the door. The other one, though, brings down the good old turret at the top of the ship, which is now accessible. And let's see if we can get an exterior view. They've mucked around with the... Yeah, so this is the turret. The mouse sensitivity gets really, really low when you get up here. But, um... Yeah, this is the turret. You're inside now, looking around. So you can see, I guess, there's some HUD type screens up there. And uh, less visibility than in the Constellation turret. So uh, this will be spinning around, but you can't see out the sides as well. Uh, it's a little bit more restrictive, nor can you see up at the top, it looks like. Uh, so this one will be, uh, I assume, a little bit less effective than the than the turret on the Constellation. Up and down. Takes you back a bit and then drops you down. Um, again, a button to close the cargo bay doors. So you can get in the pilot seat as before, but now you can also get into the co-pilot seat. Nothing really to do in there. Uh, you can turn on this fan. I don't know if that was present before. Um, although you can't turn off the fan. So if you like it windy, you've got to get used to it being being on. That's a, that's a tough choice you've got to make and then live with it. Um, the exit is here, this button closes and uh, locks the uh, the exit from the cockpit. Um, I kind of like that on this ship, the exit from the ship is a two-stage, in that you get outside the ship and you're kind of free, you can jump on top of the ship and I don't know if you can close the door from up here, I guess not. Um, yeah, you can kind of jump all, all over the ship and walk around. But if you do want to get down, you just hop over to the ladder and get down. And then if you want to retract everything, boom. So that is the. It's everything I've found on the Constellation. I don't are on the um, Cutlass. I don't know if there's anything else. Those are all the blue buttons. Um, I don't know how to retract this thing, or what it is. This little drone tractor beam thing that came down. I don't think there's any way to retract it after you deploy it yet. But uh, yeah, this is a look at the updated cutlass. In unfortunately not the best quality settings and not the best resolution, but uh, that's all my uh, s current setup can handle at the moment. Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll bring you some more soon um, of the other updates.